Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing today? <sighs> I don't know what kind of video this is. Just another chat video, I suppose. Um, I have more stitch markers to open with you guys. And I think I'm going to... I don't know how many's left. I can't remember. But uh, I think I'm going to open the rest of the St. Patrick's Day ones with you today. Because A... That was like two weeks ago now. <laughs> B, I got my new set to open from Ellie <clears throat> um, that's Easter themed. And we can start that like tomorrow maybe. Um, because Easter is this Sunday. Where did that come from, you guys? <laughs> Where did that come from? Um, I have also got some things that I got at the store today that are yarny and yarny accessory related. So I, yeah, just like a yarny chat, I guess is what it'll be. <laughs> um, let's do a couple stitch markers now because there's quite a few left, um, I think. But this is my St. Patrick's Day set um, that I got from Miss Ellie, Ellie Leva. Um, she is gonna be linked down below. Um, because she does stitch marker advent calendars for all sorts of holidays and, um, my brain, holidays and seasons. There we go, Heather, and seasons. And, um, yeah, she just has a wide variety and she's always coming out with new sets and things. So if you want to like check out what she's got going on or coming up, I have her social medias linked down below. Um, one, two, three, four, there's five of them. So let's open like two of them right now. Maybe three. Um, but she always sends like a stitch marker holder. And here so far are the stitch markers from the St. Patrick's Day set. And then she sends little goodies too. I got like a bracelet and a pin in this, uh, in this set. I haven't opened the Easter one yet. So let's see. Yes, yes, yes. I had mentioned that I had really hoped there would be rainbowy goodness. And Ellie has delivered. Look at that. That's quite a big charm, which I'm not hating. <laughs> I really love that. I love the rainbow. And there's, of course, the pot of gold. I sound very stuffy tonight. <sighs> I'm not getting sick, but I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty stuffy. At least I don't think I'm getting sick. <laughs> Um, but there is the first one. I love that one. It is so pretty. Yeah, if you guys are in need of like stitch markers or just to open something pretty and fun, I highly suggest uh, looking at Ellie's sets. Each one of these, by the way, has a pretty little glittery shamrock holding them closed. So now that was day 11. This is 12. And there's 15 in total, so that's why I was, I, there's five of them to get through. So let's just open some now, open some maybe at the end. <laughs> Is that a mustache? <laughs> there's a green mustache. A mustache you if you like these. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. They also, since they're green, they kind of look like two little, like, jalapenos. That's cute. That's like, that's kooky. I don't know. Um, I don't know why I love that so much, but I love that. <laughs> it's like the Pringles mustache. Pringles man. <laughs> okay, so that was two. You know what? Let's do a third one right now, and then we'll open two more at the end. That way, if I forget, I won't feel as bad. But here's number 13 with a pretty glittery a bigger shamrock on the front and also held with the smaller one i love that i love all the glittery i love glitter i am a big glitter fan as most of you probably already know yay it is a saint patrick's day cupcake <sighs> look at how cute and it's got like the gold like a gold medallion gold 
coin gold bullion it's got gold <laughs> isn't that cute so thank you so much ellie i will probably end up thanking her again at the end of this because yeah there's two more left and but i wanted to show you what i got when i was shopping because today it's still my thursday i know you guys are going to see this on friday my days are a little askew because of my working late and sleeping even later schedule but um it's still my thursday which is my like shopping day my just errand running day cleaning the house uh, um more than usual like <laughs> <laughs> like um if there's something extra to catch up on you know besides normal everyday cleaning um just errands and chores and and all the fun stuff right but when I went shopping today um first I went to Walmart because that's like it's cheaper there and I get David's discount and um just you know that's where I get my main shopping done and then I go to Meyer, which I love that store. If you're not familiar, I should do a walk around again soon. Um, but if you're not familiar with Meyer, if you don't have one, it's kind of, it is like Walmart, but it, it's like Walmart in the way that it's got a little of everything. It's a grocery store. Um, our particular Meyer has a subway in, whereas our Walmart used to have a, like a McDonald's in. So, I mean, they both had little eateries they both have delis they both have like i said groceries and frozen foods and they both have um like some furniture like put together type furniture not like a furniture store um desk chairs end tables coffee tables that kind of thing shelves um they have this the same thing like i said as walmart you know like pharmacy they have um they have a lawn and garden I'll just it's walmart but it's a little more pricey it's not like crazy expensive but it's a little more pricey it's a little more i feel like in this town it's a little more for the tourists um who may or may not have them wherever they come from because we are a touristy town especially in the summer um but i stopped by myers afterwards so let me show you i think i only got one thing at walmart which I shoved in this bag too. I mean, I got, I got groceries and I got a bunch of things at Walmart, but one, the only thing that is yarny to show off, I got one more. I, I just used up the last of my white again. Um, in, I think it was in the last, um, music theory square that I did for Neva. Um, so I got, I just picked up another one of these. This is Mainstay's Anti-Pill Acrylic Yarn, which is really comparable to, in my opinion, to um, the Hobby Lobby Anti-Pilling Yarn. Um, it's really soft. It's got, I don't like the, the yarns that have like the shine to them. Like Karen Simply Soft. I don't like it. Um, I'll use it. I have used it. I don't love it at all. Um, and sometimes anti-pilling yarns seem to have that sheen to them. Um, but some are, you know, there's more on some than on others, uh, it seems like. And this one is not so bad. I like the, it's just so blown out. It's white. It's, it's literally, I think that's even the color name is just white. Yep. The color name is just white. Um, what can I tell you about this real quick? It's a medium four, which is accurate. I like to base my medium fours on... Oh, that is really blown out. There we go. I like to base my medium fours, just like several other people probably do, on Red Heart Super Saver because a lot of people, even people who don't have Red Heart readily available in their country, um, can sometimes be pretty familiar with it as, a, as like a scale to grade it on. And in my opinion, Red Heart is pretty plump um not like crazy plump but like a pretty plump like a good size four like it is a, a true four or whatever you want to call it but that's to me that's a good four to judge other fours on um and i would i would say this is pretty similar to that in in size um let's see i said it was called white um it is 240.6 yards which is 220 meters it is five ounces which is 141.75 grams medium four 100 acrylic 
Um, they suggest for knitters a 5 to a 5.5 millimeter and for crocheters a 6.5 hook, which is a K. Um, machine washable, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, dry flat, low iron, do not dry clean. Where were you made? Made in Turkey. So there is, I don't know, I keep trying to show you. It's white. It's, it's just, it's white. And I got one just because um, all of my little like scrap projects seem to be using just like bits and pieces of white. My, my only other white that I have now, I have a couple of scrap balls that are like literally a, the size of a quarter. Like they're like that big. And like I said, I used the very, down to the very last inch of this white that I had got previously. And then I have um, a few old, 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 old Red Heart Super Saver from like old, like when the when they were like this big around <laughs> the skeins. Um, so I'm thinking like 70s, 80s that I had gotten uh, at Goodwill. And I actually have all of those because they're the same in a project already. Um, an old sleepy project, but still together. Uh, so I don't really have any white besides the scratchy white yarn. <laughs> Um, so I just, yeah, picked up one more. I don't want to go crazy. I don't, I don't think I use that much white. And then suddenly here I am going, I need more white. I don't use like a ton of it. I don't connect with it and that kind of thing. Like my blankets, they're all like a darker neutral color, but it's nice to have the one on hand. So here it is. <laughs> um, so I got that and then I went to Meyer, and the first thing that I saw at Meyer. Um, if you guys are familiar, I am not familiar with the show itself. I am familiar with the yarn because of Meyer getting it. Uh, I'm still kind of, I don't want to say butthurt, but I'm still kind of upset with myself for missing out on the the big like closeout sale that, that Lion Brand had um, when these were like $2 a ball. But the, my Myers has got the Schitt's Creek uh yarns and they have what I, I think at least when they first got them I think they had all the colors from Lion Brand's website which usually like Meyer doesn't have one or two select ones and then I have to go looking for it and it always seems to be my favorite color that they don't carry um like a Ferris wheel they don't have cherry on top that's my favorite color um I can't think of another example but there's there's other examples for sure um so they seem to have all the colors and they're they're originally like $6.99 or something or $7.99. I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna pay that. And they keep dropping the price, right? So like I think now they're $3.99. They might have been $4.99, but I think they're $3.99. Um and I decided I really liked the feel that they're much softer than I thought. Um, and then that's why, again, I was doubly mad that I missed the, the sale where they were all $2. Um, and I decided to buy up some of the like neutral stuff because it's always nice to have a good four-way acrylic in neutral colors to like connect all these like squares and blank for blankets that I do and things. Um, so I pick, I've been picking up, I'll get, I'll get like three or four at a time when they're on sale or something like that. Um, and I've got, always gotten these two colors. This was the last one they had of this color. They had plenty of the all the other colors, including black, which I would have assumed would have went first. But um, let me see. I know, I don't know. I assume Lion Brand actually discontinued it, which is baffling to me why my Meyer store just got them in. There, Myers has new yarn too, by the way, new Lion Brand yarn. And I, I wanted to get some. I did get some. I got one. I'll show you in a minute. But um, they got some other new yarn, and I should—I really should do a video from Meyer like this weekend or something. Um, anyway, I think they discontinued this Schitt's Creek yarn. Um, it this is seven ounces, which is two hundred grams, uh, three hundred and seventy-two yards, which is three hundred and forty meters. Um, it says it is a four weight, which again, comparing to like. Red Heart Super Saver, that kind of thing. Um, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Um, it's nice and soft. 
um it's 372 yards which is 340 meters it is 100 percent acrylic it's machine wash gentle cycle tumble dry um can you triangle looking for Aaron? no you cannot do not triangle it um they suggest a five millimeter knitting needle and a five millimeter hook for crocheters which is an h hook where were you made? Made in India. And this one, like I said, they had one color of this, and it's called Finding David. Which I don't know what that means, but, you know, uh, my husband's name is David. So I thought that was amusing. So, yeah, it's just a nice, like, dark gray, like, in Red Heart, I think this would have been called Pewter, maybe. Um, but f Finding David, and they had one left. So in I wanted to keep the same number of balls of yarn that I got and I've been buying this and black so I got one black also um and this one has the same stats but it is called black crow I should know that I love the black crows <laughs> although I've heard uh they are touring again the black crows under I, I think it's a different name but it's all of the band members except for one I think if I, if I remember right I'm just I know this is totally off topic um and I was really excited one year. It was like a couple years ago that they were coming to Michigan. And I was trying to get somebody to go with me. And I ended up telling them, never mind, I don't want to go. I want to remember them the way that they were because their music is just not the same. It's not the same, in my opinion, what I heard. So I am trying to forget that and just like love them for the band that they had always been. <laughs> Anyway, so I got two of the Schitt's Creek, got those, and then I'm going to create a yarn mountain over here, and it's probably going to end up falling on me. Um, If you guys are familiar with, if you've seen, let me say, if you're familiar, if you've seen the, the last like vintage yarn haul from eBay that I did, you'll probably recall that I got this, this vintage yarn right? It's like, uh, it's Kellon is the, the brand. Uh, and I, this was the one that I couldn't see the color on, but I think it's just numbers. Um, but here's the beautiful, I think it's beautiful. I love it. Now, the other new yarns that they got, one of them is the new, like instead of the pound of love, the bundles of love that are the variegated and stuff. Um, and let me see if you think this, this color, it, it's not an exact match holding them next to each other, but look how close. It's definitely reminiscent. This one has more like aqua blues in it. It does have the same like bright blue also. There's a bright blue like section right there, but I mean, they're fairly similar, right? <laughs> I was just dumbfounded when I was like these are the same color they're not now that I have them next to each other but that's okay that's okay um I had to get it they have quite a few like I really want to get the white and the green variegated because they remind me of like old-timey retro colors also um so maybe maybe next time because this was expensive af I can say that right <laughs> Not swearing um this was really really expensive um it was like well i i say expensive it's probably the same on lion brand website or even a little more because meyer tends to be cheaper than other stores and and online stuff too um but for meyer this was expensive like when I said these are like $3.99 or $4.99, this was $12.99. But I really, 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 really wanted this color. Uh, am I going to buy the other colors at this price? Absolutely not. Am I even going to buy another one of these at this price? Almost guaranteedly, absolutely not. Um, you know, I like to buy my yarn cheaper. <laughs> um, let me tell you about this really quick, though. Um... It's Lion Brand's Bundle of Love. This is 11 ounces, 
which is 312 grams. It's 688 yards, which is 629 meters. Uh, they suggest for knitting needles, a five millimeter and for crochet hooks, a six millimeter, which is a J. It is 100% acrylic. It is classified as a medium four, which Pound of Love is also. And Pound of Love seems like a thin four to me. But this is... I don't know. I'd have to hold one of my pound of loves up with it, I guess. It might be the same. It is a little bit thinner than Red Heart Super Saver, in my opinion. Um, but it's it's the same. Uh, it's a pretty okay. It's an okay size four. Let me put it that way. Whereas like Red Heart was more of like a generous four, and some of the ones I showed you were more like a generous four. This it's an okay four. It's on the thin side. Um this was made in India. It is 100% acrylic, if I didn't already say. It's machine washable and dryable, but also you cannot triangle it. Uh, I just found a knot. Not cool. Um, and it's in the color Tropical Bloom. So, and again, I just, I love, I've been just gravitating towards bright, happy colors. I think just because I was in my, my depressive funk. Um, I've been really gravitating towards bright and happy colors or just colors that make me happy. Like I use a lot of vintage, -y, like orange, brown golds, but like I've really been wanting to work with stuff like, like specifically those or something bright and rainbowy and neon-y and just, it makes me so happy and this makes me happy and I really like it. So I got it. So I got that. Yarn Mountain. <laughs> now, um, there's a couple of things that are yarn, yarn esque. They're not yarn, but I found. I can't remember if these were just really cheap or if these were on clearance. They were cheap regardless. But these uh, Westcott scissors. Um, it says they have a lifetime warranty. That's pretty nice. Um, these are from their trend setter collection and their eight inch straight scissors but look it's like a lace design like black lace with pink <laughs> and again i don't know why but i i love i love that um i just love surrounding myself right now with things that make me either cozy or happy or know, just good and i i really I really love these. They're so cute. <laughs> uh, and they they slide nice. I mean they oh it's brand they're brand new, you know. Um but yeah, so I got those because they amuse me. My other pair is actually pink too, but it's a pair of uh Fiskers. So I got Fiskers and I got Westcott, both in some pink varieties. Pink is not even like me normally, but but we went for it. Then, the other two things that I found, they're the same thing, but they're different sizes. The other two things that I found, um, my Meyer has never in my knowledge carried these, ever, ever, ever. And they're already on clearance. They were like, I want to say eight something. And they're on clearance for five, I think. Um, so I picked up two of them in sizes that I thought I would use, but they have the prim hooks. And normally I do not stray at all from my uh, Susan Bates. I'm a Susan Bates girl. I love Susan Bates. My absolute favorite hooks. Um, I have, well, I have two, uh, the bamboo handles and the soft grip that you, but the, they're like black coated. I love, 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 love them in, like, I don't plan to ever need to use anything else, but these have been, gotten a lot of, like, a lot of hype, a lot of talk, a lot of everybody loving them kind of talk. Um, so I wanted to try them. They seem to be in line. I, I should probably just open one, I guess, but um, they seem to be in line, like a Susan Bates hook instead of, like, the tapered, like, boy hooks. Of course I ripped the package. It's not like I'm going to return it, but, you know, what if I wanted to? Um, 
This one's pretty too. I like the orange grippy handle. This was a seven. I'm just curious if they have... Yep, they have it like printed in the rubber, like embossed or whatever <laughs> in the rubber. So that's a size seven. I picked that one because a lot of like I wanted an H hook or an I hook. Those are like my two favorites. This is in between an H and an I. This is a seven, um, which is a f it's not in between. It's the one right below. It's a 4.5 millimeter anyway. Um, and I only have one of these otherwise. I have a clover one, so which is a shorter handle and everything. I don't enjoy it as much because of the shortness. I like the actual clover hook, but if they had the longer handles, and this one has a longer handle because if you've watched me crochet, I crochet weird. I don't, I don't pencil grip, but I don't knife grip either. I kind of I'm trying to think. I'm trying to replicate it in my brain, but I, I kind of, everything's done with this hand. I hold the tension with this hand and, you know, it's just everything. I hold my project with this hand and my, my hook ends up doing this a lot, like against the yarn as I'm working. So it's like a loose, a really loose hold that I have on it. And I, I kind of, like I said, it, it moves, you know? Um, so I like to have a, a longer hook to kind of hit the back of my hand or like sometimes I'll notice when I'm going really fast and I don't hold it like this. But I'm just saying when I'm going really fast uh, and it's moving like this, it just kind of like, it's like, it's like I use the force of the movement to, it just pushes against my hand. If I don't know. And it's a weird way to come to explain it. It's complicated sounding, but um, it makes sense to me. <laughs> um, but anyway, size seven. And here's, let me see if I can zone in on the head because it's got that pointy head like the Susan Bates does it doesn't have as deep of a neck here but it does have a taper to it and it's not like my Susan Bates are metal this one is very not metal <laughs> it's um I don't think that's resin it'd be like plastic right it's just plastic um so we'll see because sometimes I'm a pretty tight crocheter and I, I feel like I might end up breaking these but but they were on clearance and we'll see. And I like the orange. I like the grip of the handle. I like the length of the handle. We'll see how this goes. But I got this. They did have sets. They had two different sets, the, the smaller sizes and then the bigger sizes. But I didn't want to pay for a set if I didn't like the hook. You know what I mean? So that's why I was glad they had some that I would at least use. So they had the size seven and then they had a J hook, which is a six millimeter. So I had a 4.5 and a six millimeter. And you can see, here's the J hook. You can see that head a little bit better when my light's not blowing everything out. There we go. And that's also a nice long handle. And you can see, you can definitely see the size difference and everything. I mean, of course there's a size difference. But um, yeah, I thought, like I said, I would just, when I have a chance to work with one of these, I thought I would give them a try. I like the colors, the handles. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But I got, I got those. And as far as like shopping experiences, that's everything that I got. Um, I am going to open the last two stitch markers with you guys. And probably go to bed after that because your girl is tired. Uh, my friend Nate came over tonight because he's been watching Stranger Things with me. And uh, I actually, <laughs> we're in my favorite season, which is two. Well, I don't know. Four might be at this point. I don't know. Anyway, it's hard to, do. if you've been around the channel, you know what a Stranger Things fanatic I am. Um, so that being said, it's very hard to pick. I, I have a favorite episode picked out and that happens to fall in season two. But I don't know if season two is my favorite season anymore. Mm, I don't know. Um, but anyway, I started falling asleep. I was just sitting on my couch. Like, we were both sitting on the couch, and Maverick was up on the couch. And I, he was, like, Maverick was, like, curled up around me, kind of. And I was just, like, petting him. And just, like, it was so soothing. I, I started to fall asleep. Like, <laughs> Nate was kind of like, hey, <laughs> fall asleep. <laughs> Uh, 
And then I got a second wind, and then I wanted to talk to you guys. So here we are. This light drives me insane. Anyway, point being, I'm going to go to bed after this. <laughs> um, but let's open the last two St. Patrick's Day stitch markers from Ellie. Again, she's linked down below. But here's day 14. Cute little boots that say St. Patrick's Day. Let's open this up. It's like my eye is super dry now. I feel like I'm about to look like I'm rolling my eyes, but I'm not rolling it at Ellie's beautiful stitch markers. What do we got? Oh, it's a little leprechaun charm, and he's holding a sign that says good luck. <laughs> That's adorable. I love him. The little Irish leprechaun. Let's put him on here. Let's find a spot for him on here. All right, right there you go. All right, and then there's one more, which is day 15. And it's got the little St. Patrick's Day truck on it. That says It says, Happy St. Patrick's Day. And it is held together by a little green shamrock still a little glittery shamrock Ooh, that i just tore in half good job way to, way to end it heather good job all right let's see what treasure lies inside i'm getting the sleepies back i had a second wind and it is it is gone <laughs> it's going fast oh that's pretty Okay, so there's a, a oh, so there's a bunch of different beads. There's seed beads, and then there's like this gold iridescent yet clear bead right here. It looks almost like a crystal ball. And there's a gold four leaf clover in the middle, and then there is the made with it's made with love, right? Yeah, made with love. That is usually at the end of all of Ellie's advent calendars. <laughs> I love it. I think that's so pretty. And I love the little shamrock in the middle. It's like, I don't know, it's so small and simple, but it's gorgeous. You know what I mean? Like, it's pretty. So I'm tired. My words are not coming easily to me. But let me get this on here. And then that is my complete St. Patrick's Day set. Mm, no disco ball this time. That's usually an Ellie trademark is I get a disco ball. <laughs> I'm sure there's not a, a disco ball for like every holiday, you know. <laughs> but I did get lots of rainbowy goodness and I love that. I love the rainbowies. All right. So that is my stitch marker set. The next time we will start the Easter set since Easter is, what did I say, like two days, two to three days away, depending on when you're counting this day to fall on. Um, like I said, for me, it's still Thursday. Um, but yeah, so that's that's everything from my my grocery shopping extravaganza. It's not really an extravaganza. I'm just being ridiculous. But anyway, I will shut up and let you guys go. And I will talk to you very soon. All right? I love you guys. Bye.